Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie, and if you are new to my channel, hey, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I'm here with a sneak peek unboxing of one of Diamond Art Club's new releases this week. Thank you to Diamond Art Club for sending this one over. And uh, this kit, along with the other new releases this week, are going to be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, December 17th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific time, which is 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. If you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier, the rewards program, you will get a half an hour early access window beginning at 9 a.m. Pacific or noon Eastern. So be sure to set your alarms. You guys, I am stoked about the kit that I have to share with you all today. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it because I was like, <gasps> Oh my gosh. Love, 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 love. Here's what I have for y'all today. This is Dreaming of Being Human by the one and only Dakota Detweiler. <gasps> you guys. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So <laughs> this beauty has square shaped diamonds. It's going to be 87 by 65 centimeters or 34.3 by 25.6 inches. And Diamond Art Club does have some blue branding here that they use with their square shaped, uh, their kits that have square shaped diamonds. Uh, there's info on the back about how to diamond paint the kit contents. And then if you flip it to the side, there's a QR code that will take you to a discount code for 10% off your purchase from Diamond Art Club. Now, if you are brand new to Diamond Art Club and thinking of making your very first purchase, I actually have a discount code that will save you 20% off your first purchase. It is just my name, Katie, K-A-T-I-E, and the number 20. Um, and that's just for first time buyers. Please don't feel obligated. I'm gonna show you several discount codes just in this video. Um, that is an affiliate code, so I may make a small commission if you choose to use it, which is why I said don't feel obligated. But use some kind of discount code so that you're saving some money, because really at this point, I don't think Diamond Art Club really wants us to be paying full price. <laughs> so anyway. Here is the toolkit, and this is one of their upgraded toolkits that they've been phasing in for the past year or so. Um, and uh, whether or not you get this toolkit or one of the older toolkits, it's gonna have everything you need to do your diamond painting. These newer ones just have a couple upgrades that are nice and have a couple bonus goodies as well. So we have a pen and squishy. The color on those may vary. You collect a whole rainbow at this point. <laughs> and then we have some pink wax. Don't forget to take off that thin plastic film before you try to load up your pen. And then since this kit came with square shaped diamonds, we're gonna get a pair of tweezers. Pretty pointy, so keep that cover on. We're also gonna get a tray, which you may get a white tray like this one. Um, some of their other kits, like in this um, toolkits in these newer bags, these newer upgraded toolkits, are clear with gold sparkles, but it seems like maybe they're phasing in these white trays instead. This is not just a mistake piece of plastic, this is a tray stopper that just pops right in there. And then we've also got a couple of thin, oops, thin plastic multi-placers if you wanna try your hand at placing more than one diamond at a time. We also have some plastic baggies here if you wanna store your leftover diamonds. These last two pieces here are exclusive to these newer tool kits and um, they'll vary in style. So this is a cover minder. It's got magnets on the back and if you peel the one off, slide it under the area of the canvas you're working on, set the canvas down, peel back the plastic cover. Set that on top of the plastic cover and you've got a cute little companion to hold back the plastic cover for you while you're working on that section of the canvas. Then we also have a roll of washi tape. The print on this will vary. Camera doesn't totally wanna to pick up that print, there we go. I like to use this around the edge of the drill field on the canvas because sometimes there's just a little bit of glue that goes past the edge of the drill field. Uh, covering it up with the washi tape prevents it from getting dust or dirt inside in it. And um, I also like to use washi tape to section off my canvas. I have a whole video dedicated to how I use washi tape, where I demo it and everything. If you're curious to see that in action, I will link to that video below. Feel free to go and take a look. We've also got a smaller sticker here. I like to use this in my paper logbook once I start working on a canvas. I like that it has the original artwork as well as the title and artist and some info about the kit. Some people will put this on the side of the box to help organize their stash a little bit better, or you could find something else artistic to do with it as well. The rest of our kit contents are gonna be right in here. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Like I said earlier, this is gonna be a little bit larger kit. But did you see that artwork? Do you see the amount of detail that they're gonna have to capture here? I'm not surprised. So, oh my gosh. <gasps> wow, that is stunning already. Oh my goodness. Wow, she is a stunner. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, I'm gonna try not to just sit here speechless, but 
Holy cow. Uh, anyway, here is our beautiful spread of diamonds. We'll look at those more closely here in just a bit. Uh, you're gonna get a pamphlet here that has some helpful info in it. It's got a thank you note from the founder on the front, some info about what's included in your kit, um, a step-by-step -step instructional video for beginners, a link to one that I've done below as well. This is something I definitely wanna point out. It's a link to the VIP Facebook group, which once you've made your very first purchase, I recommend joining there. Um, it's a really wonderful resource and a fun place to get behind the scenes and early info. Here's some step-by-step -step instructions written out for you and then some tips and tricks tricks along with another discount code and then on the back if you uh, use these QR codes you can actually download the mobile app and you'll get 20% off your first purchase through the app as well it's also convenient for things like if you sign up for push notifications it'll send you notifications of restocks and stuff like that as well oh my gosh you guys She's so pretty. Oh my gosh. So here is a larger sticker sheet. There's the title again, Dreaming of Beaming Human by Dakota Deitweiler, and then a start and end date, a spot to write those. There's that stunning original artwork again. Oh my gosh. Dakota Deitweiler's artwork is just breathtaking, and I've seen several completed. Um, from like what Diamond Art Club has licensed and it looks incredible. This is gonna be jaw dropping, I have no doubt. Uh, square shaped diamonds, the size again is 87 by, 5, by 65 centimeters or 34.3 by 25.6 inches. Over here is a set of pre-cut stickers for you. Since they're pre-cut, it makes kitting up go really quickly if you kit up into storage containers or baggies. Um, the, the color code you see over here, this is the same as the DMC color code system, which comes from DMC branded floss and cross stitch. Most diamond painting companies use this color code system. With Diamond Art Club's color code system though, anything under the number 150 is going to be a special kind of drill called an AB. We're going to have four of those in this kit, and I'll tell you more about those when we're actually looking at the diamonds later. Total number of colors in this kit is gonna be 55. Probably tons and tons of blues and some gorgeous reds and pinks, I bet. So um, if you take a look at your canvas, uh, if you pull your canvas and you're noticing that the edges wanna stay curled up like this, honestly, that's very, very normal. That often happens in transit, especially with larger canvases because it has to be rolled multiple times. A couple of ways you can kind of combat that is one, you can roll it backwards the opposite direction. It's totally safe to do uh, because um, Diamond Art Club uses poured glue on their canvases. Also, Diamond Art Club's canvases are self-flattening, so it'll lay flat on its own over time. You can also peel back the plastic cover about halfway each direction um, and then lay it back down. That'll also help it lay flat more quickly as well. Um, it also just kind of aesthetically sometimes gets rid of any little like what looks like wrinkles, but it's just where the plastic cover shifted in transit. Um, so this is definitely looking like it's going to be a bit of a confetti heavy canvas. Uh, I think that that's pretty consistent with Dakota Dietweiler's artwork because of the art style and just the level of detail that she packs in there. Oh my goodness. Let's take a little tour of this canvas though. So up here at the top, there's their branding. Do what makes you sparkle. Diamond Art Club. And then the edges of the canvas, you guys, they're scalloped and finished. That's just where it folded a little bit. Uh, no actual damage there. but you're not gonna have to worry about fraying on their canvases. Also, the canvas backing, they have started to upgrade this even further. It's always been really soft, but just recently, as in in the past couple of months, they have upgraded it to be even softer. It's magical, I love it. It's very thick and plush and really enjoyable to work on, <clears throat> especially in combination with their poured glue. Um, they have a really nice sticky poured glue. It's also, it's really forgiving. So if you need to like adjust diamonds a little bit once they're down or something like that, it, it is forgiving in that sense. But then it also sets and holds your diamonds really beautifully as well. Uh, we have a legend over here at the top left. We have the same legend over at the bottom right. And then to the bottom left, you'll find a thumbnail and then the title of the artwork, the size, and then the artist along this lovely ever important copyright symbol. So Diamond Art Club legally licenses all of the artwork that they use in their diamond paintings. That means that they have both obtained permission from Dakota Detweiler for the use of her artwork and are fairly compensating her as well. So art theft is unfortunately very common in the crafting world. So I'm always going to point out and shout out companies that are doing right by artists. Here we go, we've got links to their socials. Be sure to follow them on Facebook and or Instagram to stay up to date with new releases and other announcements. Here's yet another discount code. 
And then info about the lifetime warranty. As long as you are the original owner and purchaser of your kit, you're covered under that lifetime warranty. Uh, that means if you run out of diamonds on a color or have any trouble with the canvas or the glue or anything at all, contact their customer service, they'll get you taken care of. Let's look at this canvas and see. Uh, this symbol clarity is very clear, which is very consistent with Diamond Art Club quality. Uh, yeah, you guys, lots of confetti, lots of confetti. Confetti is when we have lots of color changes in a small area. Um, and the, the nice thing is you get tons and tons of detail because of that, but it's going to take a little bit longer because you're going to be mostly single placing and changing out the color in your tray a bit more often. This looks just breathtaking. The colors look amazing. Look at her face. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> It looks incredible. I can't even imagine how long this took for Diamond Art Club's rendering team because they hand chart all of their pieces to perfection. Um, and they are really meticulous about details and everything. I've got our big fish over here. Not flounder, but still a big fishy companion. And... Yeah, lots and lots of color blocking, uh, or sorry, confetti. Here's a tiny example of, just to, just to show you, this is maybe what we would call color blocking. Color blocking is when you have um, a good amount of one symbol in a small area. You can use your multi-placer, you'll have that color in your tray for longer. Those, those sections will go a little bit faster, but this is definitely gonna be um, more of a confetti heavy piece because we're just going to get this amazing level of detail like her hair uh, the different details in the ocean the different like textures and layers and everything that are going on i am so happy with what i am seeing it's not that i want more color blocking it's that i think that this piece needs confetti for it to truly be done justice now um i know you're not able to see the whole thing in frame right now so i'm gonna go ahead and pop up a picture for you here so you can see this canvas in its entirety and just appreciate how breathtaking she truly is and i'm gonna grab my measuring tape and let's see if we are true to size which usually we are time in our club is usually pretty good about that but I always like to double check just in case. We are at uh, 87, maybe a tick shy of 87 centimeters left to right, which we are listed as 87 centimeters. And then top to bottom, let's see. We are at 65 centimeters on the nose, which is what we are listed as. So I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna safely call that true to size. All right, let's take a look at these beautiful diamonds. This color spread though, oh my gosh. <laughs> Aquas and pinks, that is, that's one of my happy places. All right, I'm never gonna get this packed up nearly as beautifully again, but that's okay. Let's look at these colors together. So right off the bat, you guys, we have some pretty blues and aquas and holy cow, count it. One, two, three bags of 141. Now this is our first, our first AB diamond in this kit. AB stands for Aurora Borealis, and these are named after the Northern Lights, which just like those have a really pretty color shift and iridescent effect. So too do the tops of these diamonds, that super sparkly coating that you're seeing that's reflecting some different colors, like pinks, yellows, greens, maybe even a little bit of blue. Um, the areas of these have been charted are gonna be even more sparkly and are gonna be more highlighted than other diamonds are. It's gonna draw your eye to those areas. Maybe even pick up the other colors around it. So we get a whole three bags of this first day B141. One, one. And we got some 310. A few bags is pretty light blue. Now, Diamond Art Club has been always looking at upgrading the quality on various aspects of their kits. Over a year ago, they started manufacturing all their diamonds in-house, and the quality on their square diamonds just got incredible. Um, <clears throat> they're continuing to upgrade them even further, though. Uh, so their first run upgrades around a year ago, they, they went from uh, square drills <clears throat> having a mix of 9 and 13 facets to them. Now... Uh, with their upgrades a year ago, they switched over to having all 13 facets. Now they're working on switching over to their diamonds having 26 facets, their square diamonds having 26 facets. The effect is almost like the super hyper faceted effect that round diamonds have. These blue diamonds have them. You're gonna see them phased in gradually, so some colors will have it and some won't. But this blue color definitely has them. They look like pyramids. They're like really pointy at the top. 
I'll put in a picture here so you can see a picture that I took of them in the tray when I first noticed, well, found out about them a few months back. Uh, but yeah, if you look closely, you'll you'll notice that they're they're starting to incorporate them in some of their kits. So I'm not going to go through and point out every single time which ones have the the 26 facets, just because that would take a really long time. It seems like I started seeing them in the lighter colors before the darker ones. But yeah, there's several in here though. I'll, I will say that. Lots of gorgeous blues. Like every shade of blue, gray, aqua that you can imagine is in this kit. And of course some pinks. This like dusty rose makes my heart happy. I love that color. Gonna be some beautiful blending in her hair. Which hair, you guys, hair seems hard to render. So I like what I'm seeing with this though. 120, here's our second AB. It's a really pretty um, blue, like almost aqua. It's like a dark, I know. It's a really pretty blue AB. Some more blues and burgundies. Ooh, here's our third AB, 117. That's a really pretty beige AB, light beige AB. Love that. You actually see one of the drills here where the iridescent coating accidentally got applied to the bottom instead of the top of the drill. <laughs> Diamond Art Club is really good about giving you plenty of extra drills though. And if you, for some reason, do run out of a color, just contact their customer service. They'll send you more. Some pretty earth tones going on in here. Some browns and grays. Some more beiges. And here's our fourth and final AB, 128. It's a really pretty pale pink. Just a small handful of that one. So sparkly, so sparkly. And some more browns again. A lot of times when you have lots of different shades of one color, that just means that you're gonna have some beautiful blending and some gorgeous details and color shading. Some greens to end us off here. All right, let's look and let's find where those ABs are gonna go. We should have a ton of that white AB for one. Um, and then we've got the beige AB and the blue AB and the pink AB. So starting at the bottom, um, <clears throat> I'm gonna do my very best not to miss any. So first, uh, over here, kind of in the white parts of this kind of wall of water, this wave over here, um, outlining in the bubbles, and a lot of the, the brightest white that you're seeing throughout here is the white AB, this whole bubbles outline in AB. Um, a good part of like these, are these bubbles? Or are those chains? Does she have chains wrapped around her? <gasps> I need to go read more about this artwork. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Um, white around here and white around lots of these. Oh my gosh, you guys, there's no way I'm gonna be able to point out all of it to you. It looks incredible, there's so much. Um, lots of white ABs in here, you guys, just oodles of it. Basically, wherever you're seeing white, I believe is like a white AB. Uh, lots of white in her hair. And then I'm seeing lots of the pink AB doing some highlighting in parts of her hair as well. There's like some looped through here. Um, her whole face, next to her face, all of this white you're seeing is white AB. That's like five or six ABs deep to the right of her face all along there. Dang, that's gorgeous. Um, and there's kind of layers of it here. So it's going to have kind of a ripply effect. Bubbles over here have white ABs. Where she's reaching through the water is white ABs. Um, as we go up along the top here in the top corner, a lot of this white is white ABs. Beige ABs happening up here in this top corner. Yeah, a bunch of beige ABs right there. <clears throat> Where is that? Oh, yep. I was afraid that was going to happen. <clears throat> Hopping back down here. I found the blue ABs. <laughs> There's layers and lines. So you can see how like the waves, the way that it's like painted, the artist translated. It's you can almost see like the lines. Um, There's lines of the blue AB through through here as well. And it continues up through here. And there's just strands of that blue AB. That's gonna look really magical. Okay, let's shift over here. And, okay, so we've got a little bit of the light pink AB down here. Lots of the white AB again with like the bubbles and the white that you're seeing. Um, the hair, all of this is white ABs. This piece is a stunner. I, I can't get over this piece. This is incredible. Um, and as we keep moving, oh, sorry, I wanna make sure I'm not missing any like beige ABs hidden in here. 
no okay white ab's in these bubbles and the white in her hair is white ab's and then we have some i saw it and now it's gone i thought that there were some pink ab's over here but i think that my eyes are playing tricks on me it's confetti central yeah okay so there's a little bit of pink ab right here and then the white that you see sprinkled in here is white ab's we just completely neglected the left side of the painting so far. <laughs> uh, so over here we have some blue ABs here and here. Um, and as well as right here and right here, a little bit of white AB here and here and here. And then in our fish, is this an angler fish? I'll have to look up, or is it a lion fish? I can't remember what kind of fish this is. I am not a fish expert. <laughs> uh, there are beige ABs highlighting on the sides of its beautiful fins right here. Those are all beige ABs that you're seeing. And doing some some horizontal lines as well. White ABs galore as well. All the white that you're seeing is a white AB. There is a plain white color in here, but it's very few and far between. Uh, there's some beige ABs up here in the front as well. And then when we come down here to the bottom, <clears throat> Uh, there's some white AB right here and then some blue AB throughout here. Wow, you guys, <laughs> this is incredible. This is probably my favorite of, <clears throat> this is probably my favorite of the Dakota Dightweilers that Diamond Art Club has released so far. There's one or two more that I am extremely excited for, but this I think is my top favorite so far. This is out of this world um, and is from what I had read, is Dakota Dietweiler's interpretation of a particular mermaid from fairy tales. <laughs> it's Christian Anderson. Um, so I, I don't want to name names like just in case, but I think you can guess between the red hair and the title of Dreaming of Becoming Human. Um, I'm going to go look up some more about this artwork, especially with what looks like the chain like the chain imagery down here. I'm not, I, I should have looked that up beforehand, but I didn't honestly notice it. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go do some looking. This looks amazing though, you guys. Um, this is gonna be really popular. I think I'm gonna go ahead and say it. The reaction that I saw in the VIP group and in Diamond Art Club's previews this past week, I think this is gonna be real, a really popular piece and is going to sell out quickly. Um, we don't know ahead of time which pieces are gonna be limited edition though. So if a piece is marked as limited edition, that means that once it sells out, it will not be restocked. There have been some rare exceptions to that where Diamond Art Club has changed their minds. Um, but nine times out of 10, it wants, if a piece is listed as limited edition, truly once it sells out, it will not be restocked. It's not a risk I would take. If this is on your shopping list for the weekend, which hello, it should be because she is a stunner, um, set your alarms and jump on it, especially if it is listed as limited edition. I think it's going to sell out incredibly quickly. Even if it's not limited edition, often there's a six month ish more give or take, uh, or less, um, turnaround time. So I wouldn't want to get stuck waiting. <laughs> I would definitely set your alarms for this one. This is really amazing. And I think Diamond Art Club has just knocked it out of the park once again with the beauty in this piece. So let me give you a really quick recap. The name of this piece is Dreaming of Becoming Human. It's 87 by 65 centimeters with square drills, 55 colors, including four ABs. It's by the artist Dakota Deitweiler. And um, it, along with the other new releases, are gonna be released tomorrow, which is Saturday, December 17th at 9.30 a.m. Pacific or 12.30 p.m. Eastern. Don't forget if you're in the Ruby or Diamond tier, you do get that half an hour early access window. So you guys, I hope this was helpful in helping you decide if this is on your shopping list for the weekend. Um, if you enjoyed this unboxing and found it helpful, would you mind giving it a thumbs up before you head out? And feel free to subscribe if you wanna stay up to date and join me for all of my diamond painting shenanigans. I would love to have you. There's a subscribe button just down here you can click on. There's also a bell you can click to be notified when I share new videos. So anyway, my friends, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing, amazing weekend and I'll chat with you in the next one. Bye.